Hey everybody, this is King Kong Rong. Welcome back to King Kong Rong's Kitchen. And today, we got one of my favorite ingredients, duck. Duck is uh, one of my favorite because it's got a lot of fat to it. So when we cook the duck, the fat renders and we can use that to fry up other things. Um, and so everything you need for this dish, um, duck fried rice, will be here in front of you. So we've got about a half pound of duck breast, uh, three or four cloves of garlic, a uh, carrot, which we'll mince, one egg, four scallions, sesame oil, oyster sauce, rice wine, cilantro, salt, pepper, and of course, uh, some leftover rice. You don't want to use um, freshly cooked rice because that'll stick to uh, the pan or the wok or whatever you're cooking because there's still a lot of moisture in it. So you're going to want to use some uh, leftover rice. If you don't have leftover rice, and if you just cooked it, let the rice cool off a bit. You know, open up the rice cooker or what have you. Bring out the rice. Just cool it off. You just want to get as much moisture out of the rice as possible. All right. So with that, um, the first thing we're going to do is prepare the duck. Let's move some stuff out of the way. We'll move this over here. We'll bring them forward when we're ready, but for now, we just want to get at this duck. I'm going to cut open the packaging. As you can see, there's plenty of fat. And that's what duck is known for. It's a very fatty meat. And you're going to want to put it meat side down with the fat up. Now, the next thing you're going to do is with a sharpened knife. You're going to want to make um, like a cross-hatched pattern across the top. You want to pierce the fat, but not get into the skin. So you got to be very careful. Now, the reason we do this is to expose more of the fat to uh, the cooking surface. It allows the fat to render faster um, without, you know, making the skin too soggy because you want the goal for the duck is to get the skin crispy and this helps with that immensely so again you just want to make a diagonal slashes slices however you want to call it across the top one way and then what I like to do is turn it 90 degrees and start cutting the other way. Well, it's actually the same direction. It's just by changing the position of the duck, you're starting to see like this square pattern um, as you cut across. And there we go. So yeah, it gets through the fat, but doesn't cut into the meat. Um, do a couple more slices here, just to really get into the fat. It's really thick in some parts. That's why you need a sharp knife. Okay. okay, that's pretty good. And then what we're going to do is heat up our wok. And in this hot wok, we're going to put the duck skin side down. 
You can already hear it sizzling. We're going to leave it there for now. We're going to let the fat render. And then, while that's cooking, we're going to prepare the other parts of the meal. So you don't want to cross-contaminate. I, I just cut the duck on this. So we're simply going to flip it over. Always remember to wash your hands after handling raw meat. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get the garlic ready. I like to smash them to open them up first. Yep, that gets the skin off really quick. This is a very thin clove. Sometimes, you know, uh, garlic doesn't always come in these nice big pieces. You get like these little tiny ones. That's fine. We can still use them. I love the sound and the smell of sizzling duck. All right. Now for the garlic, we just want to mince them. They'll be like the aromatics. Yeah, nothing fancy. Just want a nice mince. And there you go. I'm going to go check on the duck. Okay. And then I normally like to um, put the garlic in a bowl so I can save it for later. Yeah, I put the... <laughs> I use the, the handle as a kind of like um, way to keep the, the garlic from just flying all over the place. So yeah, there's the garlic. Now I save like the garlic paper, the peels and all that for um, vegetable stock, which I'll use later. Never want to waste anything. Next, we're going to cut the scallions. I generally cut like the these tips off and save that for stock as well. So it's kind of like white at the end. Yeah. I'm going to peel off some of it as well. Because we're not going to eat that. We're not going to use that. All right. So, start mincing up the scallions, cutting, thinly slicing the green parts. When you get to the white part, stop. Green parts we're going to save for last, so we're going to put them aside here. But the white parts we're going to save to go toss in with the garlic when it's time. So again, I'm, as you can see, I'm saving stuff for vegetable stock. 
These are all perfectly good pieces for stock. Yeah, we'll just put that with the garlic. As you can see here, the so garlic and scallion. The next, we're going to prep the carrot. The way I like to do it is I cut the carrot in half, stand it up, slice vertically to get the skin off. Again, saving the skin for stock. And the ends. But now we have like a roughly rectangular shape. Which makes it easy to then break down into squares. This is how you mince, this is how I mince carrots. Again, we're gonna save that with the uh, the garlic and scallions. So again, you take the carrot, slice down vertically to get the skin off. It's not gonna come off perfectly, and you may. You might want to use like a vegetable peeler if you feel more comfortable using that. But by and large, it's somewhat rectangular. rectangular. And again, you just slice down. There you go. And that way, it'll come out more square when you uh, chop them. All right, let's go check on the duck. All right, so let's check on the skin. On the one side, it's because we put it down skin side first. Yeah, it's nice and crispy. So yeah, that was about I don't know five minutes on one side. You could I could probably leave it in for a little bit longer. So yeah, it should be about eight to ten minutes in total for one side. Yep, it's nice and crisp, golden brown. Now we're going to flip it over and cook on the other side for another 8 to 10 minutes. All right, so by now, uh, the duck has been cooking for about 5 minutes on the uh, skin. I mean, on the uh, opposite side of the skin. So it's got a nice brown sear. Cook it on its sides for a little bit. Make sure you get it brown all the way around. And then take it off of the wok. Um, and we'll put it aside on its own cutting board for now because we're going to slice it up in a bit. But look at that. Okay. And now on, I turned the, the wok down to low heat. Um, and now we're going to toss in our vegetables. So we've got our mix of carrots, uh, garlic, and scallions. That's right, we're going to cook it straight into duck fat. Duck fat has a very rich taste to it, and I think it really adds something to uh, the aromatics. 
But as you saw, that duck, that one duck breast, um, really uh, <laughs> renders a lot of fat. And while that's going on, I'm uh, breaking an egg. And scrambling it. You gotta cook the, the vegetables down for a little bit longer. Maybe give it a toss. Yeah, the aroma is really coming through. And the other reason I just I, why I just left the duck on the side is because I want the meat to rest. You know, after you know, pretty much putting uh, subjecting it to high focus heat on a walk. You know, I want the juices to kind of reconstitute. So doing the vegetables now um, buys us some time, while also uh, adding to uh, the flavor components. Okay, let's cook for a little, for quite a bit. Now I push the uh, ingredients to the side, and now let's put in the egg. And stir it up a bit. You want there to be recognizable pieces of egg in the rice. So that's why I'm cooking it this way. I mean, I could have fried it up in its own separate um, frying pan, but then it wouldn't be cooking into duck uh, fat. So uh, less flavor would be in the in the egg. Okay, it's starting to look good. And you know, then I just break it up a little. Again, you want recognizable pieces of egg in the rice. Because, you know, what's fried rice without egg? Okay. Turn the heat back down to low. Next, we start putting the rice in. I generally use about a cup of uh, leftover rice. You can put a little more if you like. Okay, just drop them by hand. And we stir fry. And if you're wondering what rice I used, I, I used jasmine, pretty much any long grain rice. Um, you can use basmati as well, but jasmine's my usual go-to. Oh, and if you like, you know, sometimes I like to put chili peppers in here as well. Take this off the walk and move on to the next step. Okay, so by now the uh, duck has had a chance to rest. So the next part is we're going to start to slice the duck. So generally I want to take one side and slice downwards. 
So as you can see, it's nice and cooked. In fact, let's show you. It's cooked well through. I like to cook. I like to cut it on a slight angle, so slightly more meat exposed to to the blade and to the cooking we're going to subject it to later. Because yes, this is only the first part of this um, <laughs> duck being cooked. We cooked the rice and cooked the duck, but there's more. So our wok's been uh, wiped off, but still slightly seasoned. So there actually still is a bit of um, duck fat in there, which is great. Uh, it's just, you know, <laughs> wiped into, I guess, the, uh, the the wok. All right, so the next part, we'll take some rice wine, about one tablespoon. We'll take a tablespoon of oyster sauce. There we go. And we're just going to stir it up a bit. Turn the heat up to medium. And now we can put our duck slices in there. It'll be very delicate. More uh, duck fat will render off the meat, so don't worry if it looks a little dry. Although with this much duck, I don't think you'll have to worry about that. And just stir fry it. I'm gonna make sure the duck uh, is evenly coated with the oyster sauce and rice wine mixture. Again, I didn't use a lot because the duck has a great flavor already. Um, so I didn't want to like drown it in sauce. Like, you know, you go to restaurants and it's like glazed. If you like it that um, that's saucy, that's fine. But um, I like to taste the duck, so I just do just enough to kind of try to enhance the flavor. All right, so yeah, it took about five minutes to stir fry. That looks good to me. Now let's plate. Now for plating, um, what I like to normally do is put the rice in uh, a measuring cup. So, it, I mean, number one, it tells me how much rice is in the dish. Um, but also, um, it helps to kind of like forming it when you put it on the plate. So yeah, you just put it in. There we go. So it's nice and neat on the plate. I put it a little off center because I want to put the uh, the duck in kind of like in a staggered formation. So put one duck there, one slice of duck. A 
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to curve it around just a little. Very juicy, this duck. And then for garnish, um, I used some cilantro. Um, I chopped some up, and so you know you can just put a little bit on top of the rice, like so. Cilantro and duck go really well together. And like a little bit over the duck itself. But if you want, you can also put like a, a sprig if you have a nice, nice, relatively nicely shaped sprig or two. Just like that. And clean up the plate a little. And there we have it. Duck fried rice. Well, if you enjoyed uh, this video, hopefully, uh, you know, you'll give this a try, too. Um, I'll have the ingredients in the uh, description. Um, but, yeah, if you had a good time, please give this a like and subscribe. Comment if you uh, have any other suggestions or if you have any uh, dishes you'd like me to make. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.